How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> Let me get my coffee real quick. Okay. So, uh, we're going to talk today about uh, this guy named Mike Oliver. Okay, let me see. Uh, 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 let me see where it is. Okay. Yes, I heard this story. Uh, I heard about this story like two days ago. Somebody was doing on their podcast with. Okay, that's him right there. That's the dude, Mike. So let's get started. We got the lot to discuss today. Let me go to these texts. Okay, y'all see these texts right here? Between the... Because basically... The dude was about to murder this uh, woman that you see Mike's with, but he went online, I guess some something told him, you know, to go online and uh, backtrack. So he sees this picture of them together, so, you know, he called off the wedding, you know, which is smart on his part, I salute him for that. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, the husband asked her, <clears throat> Is that you and your father? <laughs> wow. She says, My God, where did you get this from? He says, Got it from your ancestors. <laughs> yeah. She replies, Please, babe, this is this is Photoshop. They want to ruin our wedding. <laughs> the fiance says, ha ha, Photoshop video. After all, I have sacrificed for you. Go, let me see, show y'all some more. She says, dear, I swear this is Photoshop. Please pick up my calls, Paul. <laughs> don't do this to me, Paul. I love you. I don't about him. Someone wants to destroy our relationship. Yeah. Well, you you the one that's, that's the, you the problem in a relationship. You doing stuff like this. <laughs> oh, these excuses, I tell you. Am on my way to your house, Paul. So the mess is deleted, as you can see right there. Mess deleted, mess deleted. He says, I have already called the bishop and the wedding will be canceled. I have nothing personal against you, Muthani. I wish you a better life. All the best. <laughs> wow. Salute, I salute this guy, I tell you, because he dodged a big bullet right there. Ain't no telling what he, what he would have been up against if he was naive. Like, a lot of these guys be naive to stuff like this. They see this and say, uh, it's fake or all that. And they would have believed the Photoshop mess. You wasn't going to sell this guy that mess, I tell you that. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, he texts her, <clears throat> Emma, after educating you, finding a good job for your brother and sister, all I spent on medical bills, 
for your late father. This is how you pay me back? She says, Paul, please let this, this a little misunderstanding. He replies, you call cheating a little misunderstanding? My final question, do you know him? And of course, they're going to deny, of course. They're going to deny it. Talking about a misunderstanding. <laughs> Emma says, give me a chance to explain, Paul. Paul replies, do you know him? Simple question. Emma says, please let me come over and explain. Paul says, do you know him? Emma says, yes, but just a, just a friend. <laughs> so my thing is, she claimed not to know him, but then, you know, he called on the last. So now, okay, they just friends. First, first is Photoshop, then... Uh, you don't know him, then uh, somebody's trying to mess up your relationship, then, okay, it, he just a friend, okay. I say the lies, boy, they keep all these lies. They always try to make a guy with his head on straight. You know, they try to make a guy like he know he don't know what he's talking about. I'm on part the dude's Paul side because I'm like, we about to get married, and you pull a stunt like this? Ain't no coming back. Not for me, it ain't. Let me show y'all some photos. You would all eat these various women. Wow. And he gladly, he gladly taking pics. <laughs> taking pics. He, he don't even care. Hmm. And this guy say all all he did was wave his money, and these women would open their sales up to him and let him go in them raw. Wow. These are some of these are people's wives, or soon to be wives, or girlfriends, or you know, I guess some of them was single, but <laughs> this right here, I tell you, this a. This is crazy. Okay. I try and oh uh, Okay. So let me see real quick. Yeah, this, this is Matter of fact, I got it. Yeah, Cause they 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 playing around now. Is okay. Here we go. Y'all some some of these. Uh, I'm gonna read y'all some of these comments. <laughs> this stuff is crazy. Okay, Zach Oim says in the comments, job nicely done, man. Mike Oliver gave him the thumbs up. <laughs> I see it over the thumbs up, Pete. And this recently, like from two weeks ago, so they, some say this dude locked up, but I don't believe because he's been posting recently, like in the, in the comments, he's been writing, so... Zach said, how we're seducing them. I am interested. E 
Eve even told him, nice job. Wow. And Dima said, told he told she told Mike in the comments, don't come to Maui, my friend. Mike Oliver, he said, out there soon. It's crazy. Okay, and Zach says in the comments, let me see. Okay, this this is Endemo. She replied in the comments. I guess I guess she she want him to come over there to where, where she's at in Maui. She says, "Then you will see what you want here." Wow. Mike Oliver replies, "What's that?" And Dima says, "Come to Maui, then you will know." <laughs> See, they want the guy to come over there now. He already been to Kenya. Mike Oliver says, "Just care about your life." And live it. You think mics are not there. Hmm. Facts. Another person says in the comments, a woman says, Congratulations. Big up, Mike. <laughs> wow. She right there. <laughs> okay, and Lurie, this is Lurie in the comments. Are you still spreading HIV? See it? Okay, Mike replied, what kind of question is this? <laughs> Lurie says, you did some good work, my friend. I like you. Mike Oliver says, you can do the same. Lurie says, thanks, we'll do so. <laughs> Shit, dang. You got people wanting to be like this guy. And he's trying to know if you type it in the search thing of Facebook, he's trying to. <clears throat> Mandy from Kenya, she says, thank you for the job you've done. The girls now have learned a lesson. Mike replies, I don't think so. <laughs> Mandy says, hmm. Joseph replies, you need God mercy fool. <laughs> Wow, tell him he need God. No, that's right. Anderson says, you done a good job. They pretend to be so proud they have learned a lesson. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Fidel, she asks, is she asks in a hotel or in jail? Mike says my apartment. Wow. So there's some there's some people this guy a hero, some think he you know, teaching, you know, something he, like I said, he teaching people a lesson. Uh, it's a couple sides of this story, so, you know.
I don't just look at it one way, but let me show y'all some other stuff. Uh, see, that's him right there. Holy, these women, wow. <laughs> And he, they think they think they wasn't gonna be seen if they uh taking pictures with this guy. I don't understand it. Now he exposed, you know, he exposed them. Get all this. All these pictures with these women. Wow. And he, he exposed all these women. Dang. Look at that. Hold on, let me see. All these women he's posing. Yes, you got Mike. Mike Oliver. Yeah, like I said, this. <clears> There's <throat> different ways you can look at this. And like I said, that's that's how I come in the situation. I look at it different ways, but also another guy that's trying to be. I'm trying. Let me see. A guy. Let me see. Another guy. His name is George Nash. Just throwing your mic. You know, he they say he's Caucasian, white guy. Some say he slept with over 15 ladies and within was it four months. They claim he sprayed at AIDS. Exposed more than 20 ladies photos. See the other the other guy that they talking about right here, George Nash. George Nash. He posted Vine photos. He basically doing with uh Mike Oliver was doing he posting his pics with woman. And I guess he was dealing with. See, they talking about it right here, a different woman. He on social media. Yeah, Mike Mike Oliver's trending. He's high topic right now. See, it says after Mike Oliver, Kenya Man follows the trend as he posts his multiple women. See? <laughs> See it's a following thing. Like I said, monkey see monkey do. <clears throat> That's him right there. George Nish. He doing similar stuff. I mean, I don't know if he's spreading stuff, but <clears throat> yeah, the guy Mike, he he called the uh, <clears throat> he called the woman over Kenya, you know, cheap <clears throat> because he said all he had to do was wave his money, and they basically, you know, offered their sales to him, whether they was married, about to get married, or single, or, you know, whatever that situation was. So. This is the thing when she said, "So you are alive," and he liked the he liked the comment. This was two weeks ago. Some people think he was dead. That's him right there. One guy he say, "You date your girlfriend for four years." 
Mike Oliver smashes her for an hour. And it says, Kenya Sehami. <laughs> My motherland. Mm -mm -mm. My country, my motherland. Laughing emoji. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so this guy, like I said, he the new hot topic, like especially on Facebook, social media. You know, look, y'all look him up. He on it. Cause like I said, I heard about the story. Uh I heard about it two days ago when I was on a podcast. So I was like, let me do, you know, a thing on it because I did my I was up like last night doing my research. Late last night. Matter of fact, I was up made buddy all night doing research on and like just I was like, wow. I mean it don't it ain't surprising, I'm just saying that, you know, shit. And this is a thing right here. It says, let me see. It says, mission complete. I'm going back to your. Meanwhile, RVs are free. Your government can afford to give you free. Next time, grow some brains. 57 women I slept with must spread AIDS to 1 million people. We must colonize you again. Wow. It looked like there's some, I don't know if uh, he wrote it or somebody else wrote it, but wow, that's shit. <clears throat> so I'm going I'm to I'm show y'all. Uh, now... It's different way. It's different ways you can look at this now. Now I'm 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 like this. <clears throat> no, like I said, I I clap and salute. I salute the guy. Uh, the guy. What's his name? Uh, Paul. I salute him because. He must have had some good type of instant. You know, I don't know if that, that was God or what it was. It might have been God. I mean, because God is real. But it might have been telling him, okay, uh, some ain't right about, you know, the one you about to murder. You know, some probably tell him, oh, go online. You know, because that intuition is no joke. Anytime the energy, anytime the energy feels off, 9 out of 10 it is. So, that's another thing I'm going to tell y'all. If the energy fell off, it is. And like I said, if you had that feeling in your gut, if something ain't right. It's good, like I said, listen to that uh, gut feeling because a lot of times that be right. You know, and like I said, see, you know, to y'all guys out there, stop. <clears throat> stop, uh, stop letting people, you know, tell y'all y'all crazy or y'all insecure. That's the Lord, that's the Lord and mind games people play with y'all. Especially when they're in the wrong and they're really doing what you're accusing them of doing. You know, because check this out. At first, she claimed, oh, that wasn't her in a picture. Oh, uh, uh, it's, it's Photoshop. Next thing, uh, she kept on asking him, you know what I mean? He, he kept on asking her, oh, do you know him? She said, uh, oh no, I don't know him. You know, it's Photoshop, somebody somebody's trying to mess up our uh a wedding, our marriage, or you know, our relationship. So he keep on he kept on having to ask her that that's red flags right there. You know, you keep on having to ask somebody about the truth. But so that like I said, that that's a that's a red flag right there. So y'all pay attention. To your intuition, your gut feeling. And energy is everything. Energy is real. You know, sometimes it it's sometimes situations I was in the energy fell off. And 
I knew about this situation I was in, whatever, you know, situation I was in at the time. I know everything wasn't right because the energy, the energy ain't feel the same. Any time energy don't feel the same and something feels off, nine out of ten it is. Listen to that. Everything is energy in this world. So basically, yeah, he 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 was uh he was real smart for that, for what he did. You know, he 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 dodged, he dodged the real big bullet because not only did uh not not on not only did he did he save himself from you know being made a fool of you know you you about to marry this woman but on the other hand she just she just messed with this guy no protection at all so they they hugged up online you know like this so that that's that's another thing to look at. He wasn't naive like these other guys and talking about, oh, uh, that's the past. And you know how people talk, that's the past. Even though it recently happened, people say that, oh, that's the past and uh, I give you the benefit of the doubt. You know, all that, that stupid stuff, that sorry stuff. You know, y'all guys need to stop that. If y'all seeing these red flags from a, a female, uh, even like I said, before y'all get married or, or before y'all get together, you see if a guy, if you're a guy, if you see these type of red flags from a female, do like this dude did, uh, run the other way. You know? Yeah, run, run the other way. So my, my, my head, my head goes off to him. You know, for like I said, stepping up and saying, you know, you're not going to make me look like no fool. Not today. So, that's basically it. You know, I salute him. He does the real bu bu big bullet because down the road, he would also have to worry about, oh, uh, if if this guy did spread AIDS, he would have to worry about uh, getting AIDS. You know, that ain't no, ain't no joke. You know, y'all about to get married, but you out here playing. You 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 out you out here playing with uh somebody you about to get married to, you know. See some of y'all that's y'all problem. You y'all about to get married, but you living you know, you still living like you single. So I ain't telling nobody what to do, just saying. That's another uh perception I'm looking at on this because doing what you want to do. Has repercussions, and that's the repercussion from for some of these for some of the women. They out messing around, even though they they uh they not single. So that's karma right there. You know, you want to mess around on your significant other. So okay, you get you get this disease that this this guy that's supposedly throwing at y'all. So that's how you gotta look at it. And I'm not saying these women. I'm not saying that they deserve that, but if this is true, I don't know, you know, the woman is floating around it. He spread at AIDS. I mean, it's, it might be true, it might not, but hey, that's why I said another thing. Y'all got to protect yourself out here. Everything ain't no game. Everything ain't no joke. Everything has repercussions. Whatever life you, you, you live, it's repercussions. So you better be ready for that, them repercussions. I salute that guy because you won't go make a fool out of Paul.